Hello folks and welcome to colour correction tutorial number five. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at the RGB parade and we're going to be using it to help us understand the colour cast problems that are in this clip here which has got rather a nasty orange colour cast to it and this clip here that's got probably a little bit too much blue. We're also going to be using the RGB curves to help us with our colour correction work. So let's get started. To begin with, I'm just going to rearrange the monitor window slightly. I'm going to undock the reference panel here. Just move it up to here like so. And it'll be a little bit easier to read the reference monitor whilst we're gauging the images over here on the right. Now before we talk about the RGB parade, because it can be a little bit confusing, let's begin with going back to one we looked at earlier, which was the YC waveform. Let's just open this up a little bit and get a little bit of a recap about what this reference monitor is telling us. Now this reference monitor was telling us a little bit about the brightness levels in the image. And you read these reference monitors from left to right. So as an example, if we look at this portion of the image here, it's actually not particularly bright. It's a little bit muted. If we look at this portion of the image here, we can see in the reference monitor that it's considerably brighter. And as we go along, we can actually see this completely dark bit here references these dark bits on the door. And of course, as we move along to the right, the most bright the most powerful part of the image, this bit here, is obviously referring to this TV monitor. So this waveform monitor is simply telling us about the brightness in the image. When we go to the RGB parade, it's telling us about brightness, but about specific brightness levels of specific colours. In this case, red, green and blue which of course are the colours that make up a digital video image. And in many respects, although they're a little bit cramped and bunched up on the RGB parade, they still work in the same way as the waveform in that you read them from left to right. But they're doing something slightly different to the waveform. The waveform just told us about brightness from left to right. This is telling us about brightness and colour brightness from left to right. As an example, let's start with blue. Now it's pretty obvious looking at this image here that there's not a great deal of blue in it and actually it's got quite a nasty orange colour cast. So let's work our way across this image. Actually we're going to go from right to left and we'll look at blue here from right to left and see what it's telling us. So as an example, if we look here and it's just faint, you can see it. There's a little sort of blue reference point up on the top there and that means that there's an element of blue, which there is, it's quite faint, but you can see it. There is a slight bit of blue in this TV monitor. Now, our eyes can't particularly see it, which is why it's useful to use these parades, but it is there. And it's telling us that it's very minute, but there's blue, and actually, this point here is the brightest element of blue in the image. As we work our way across here to the left, again, we can see there's blue, there's blue here and this blue here, but it's really not very bright, so it gets lower and lower along here. We've got a sort of spike in the blue brightness here, and that references this point here, and you can see actually, if you look at it, yeah, there's a sort of element of blue in there, but of course it's not particularly bright. We work our way across here to the doors, and again there's blue elements you know, sort of here and here, and they're very bright, yeah, little blue, blue element there, blue element there. And of course, this little element here, which is sort of spiking right up there, fairly bright blue. And as we go along here, yes, we can see the blue in this mosaic on the wall, but it's really not particularly bright. So it's reading colour, but colour brightness across the image. So let's actually look at this area here. It's got an orange glow to it. An orange would be made up of the reds and the greens. 
So as you can see, you've got a real spike in bright green here and an even brighter spike in red here. So we've got very bright red here and very bright green here. And the placing of them is actually here. Now to our eyes, it looks kind of a creamy orange color. And that's combined with the red here and the green here. And they're very, very bright. Of course, this is one of the brightest parts of the image. Now this green part here probably isn't that problematic, but it's these reds here that we want to dial down a bit. Now in all honesty, what I've talked to you about here is a very detailed breakdown of how red can be looked at from left to right, green from left to right, and blue from left to right. But in all honesty, that's probably the more in-depth approach. If you actually look quickly at the image across, you can see actually, yep, yeah, on mass there's not much blue in it, but by and large, yep, there's too much red in it. And our aim is to get these three balanced out. For example, on the timeline, I've got another image here, which is of the door again, but it's a bit more of a balanced image. We've got a bit more balance between red, green, and blue. Although in all honesty, we've probably got an overabundance of blue here. And you can see it reflected in the image. The blues have been blown out slightly. This image here though, which has got a deliberate color cast on it, and it's very orange, is blown out in the reds, blown out a little bit in the greens, but has got much less blue. So our aim is to rebalance these three out. And for this, on this occasion, I'm going to use the RGB curves because I think they've got a little bit more flexibility to them than maybe the fast color corrector might have in this instance. So on the RGB curves, just as a very quick recap, on the bottom here, on a color, these are our shadow or dark parts of the red. These are our highlights or bright parts of the red. And same for blue as well. These are the highlights and these are the shadows. And the same applies for green. These are the highlights and these are the shadows. So if I want to dial down the red in this overall image here, I really want to dial down the red highlights. So it's this part here, this is the highlights that I want to dial down. Now, as I make the adjustments to the red highlights and brightness here, just watch what happens to the RGB parade over here in these red elements. I want to take out the bright red parts or the bright red highlights. And I'm going to do that by just dragging this down slightly like so. And as we can see that, as I drag it down, the red is subtracted from the image. What it's done though, if we look at the image, it's given it a slightly sickly, almost kind of green look. Now, it may be that's appropriate for creativity and design, but at the moment we don't really want that approach. We want to balance it out a bit more. So what I want to do is actually boost up some of these blues. And again, I want to boost the blue highlights and bright parts. So on this occasion, I don't want to take blue down, because that will take even more blue out and make the image even greener. I want to get blue and boost the blue highlights by moving it along up here like so. And as you can see, if you keep your eye again on the RGB parade, as I move over here to the left, the blue is boosting up. I'm going to take it to about there. I don't want to take it too far, so we'll have a blue color cast now. But about there should be about right. I'm going to leave it like so. And if we look at the RGB parade now, we've got a greater balance between red, green, and blue. Let's do a quick before and after. Let's switch off the RGB curves, and we can see the difference. The reds are blown out again and the blues are too muted. Put the RGB curves back on, and we can see that our reds, greens and blues are a bit more balanced. And if we look at the image now, it's far more balanced in terms of overall red, greens and blues. Okay folks, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for listening. See you in the next one.